Some days ago, Michael and I went to an aquarium. I see. Although it's a pity to see them in so small fish tanks, fish need to have an air pump to supply the oxygen they use. Besides, the fish tank should be cleaned after some time. Dirtiness builds up. The fish defecate and urinate. Fish urinate? Have they got kidneys with ureters and all the rest? I think we should revise what we've seen in class about the urinary system. If we had to mention the proportion of water in our body, what would you say? I read that it's about 70% of our body weight. How is it distributed? Most of it is inside the cells, in the cytoplasm and the rest, in the liquid surrounding the cells, the extracellular or intercellular space. There are several types of urinary systems, from very simple to very complex ones. However, in spite of the differences, we may find a function common to them all. What do they have in common? That the cell metabolism, as cells are alive, require nutrients and produce wastes which it needs to eliminate. Why must the metabolism discard these waste molecules? Because if it doesn't discard them, they may become toxic or simply because they begin building up in the cytoplasm. And that's bad, so cells eliminated them. Where do those discarded molecules go? If they are eliminated into the extra cell space, the situation is almost the same because everything will work fine until there's a buildup. Then they'll have to be eliminated out from the organism. We are in the presence of a system whose function is to eliminate some of the molecules produced as waste of the cell metabolism. This system is different from the one in charge of eliminating the wastes of food, that which can't be absorbed. Yes, that's the digestive system. The fecal matter contains a type of waste and the urine other wastes. So. Any type of urinary system an organism may have. Its function is to be the medium to discard some of the molecules produced during cell metabolism. So as they aren't built up, neither in cell nor in the extra cell space. I wonder if the molecules human beings need to discard are soluble in water. The proportion of water is great, so it can be used as a medium to discard the waste, right? Great! They are hydrophilic molecules. Therefore, they use a solvent, such as water, and are carried to be discarded. You know that the amount of water in the cells and in the intercellular space is critical for its survival. Then, in some cases, the organism cannot lose much water. But they may also take or drink water and thus keep a constant amount. We're terrestrial animals adapted to environments where water availability is relative. That is, we aren't animals adapted to the desert as the camels that can spend several days without drinking a drop of water. And we aren't dolphins surrounded by water all the time. That's right. Therefore, our urine will be in between these ends. It'll be hypotonic if compared to fish of salty water. And it'll be hypertonic if compared to fish of sweet water. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and answer the question. You can also click the links on the right to continue learning and click the like button. We appreciate your help. See ya!